Uh, Should I talk to you? Or yeah, to uh, camera's better, isn't it? Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, good morning. Do you like morning. to introduce yourself? Yeah, hello. Uh, my name is Rob. Uh, by trade, I am a stand-up poet. Uh, and stand-up poetry, it's sort of like stand-up comedy, but it rhymes and there's no jokes in it. And I was a psychiatric nurse, and I've got a show uh, called Forget Me Not, The Alzheimer's Who Done It, which is a murder mystery set on a dementia ward, and I play 15 people who deliver a variety of tropes and red herrings and plot flaws. Mm. Yeah, that's me. How long have you been doing this for? This particular show? Mm. I've been doing this show for four years. I've had breaks. Uh, <laughs> it's not been like a really long show, it's a four year long. Uh, yeah, I wrote it about four years ago and it's, uh, it's, it, yeah, it's looked after me nicely. Um, Why did you decide to write this play? I wrote this show for two reasons. Firstly, as a, a writer and performer, I, I set myself the challenge of wanting to do a one-man murder mystery, a solo murder mystery show with me playing all the characters, just to see if I could get away with it. And also, uh, I wanted to talk about dementia and institutional bullying and how we respond to uh, Alzheimer's and things. As an ageing population, I think we've got a lot of you know, fairly pertinent questions we need to ask ourselves in society. So I wanted to talk about all that. So I wanted to talk about outsiders, particularly in relation to institutional care, and I wanted to do a murder mystery. And I didn't think that these two things were mutually exclusive, <laughs> so I did them both. And what do you hope the audience will take away from it? Um, <laughs> I hope, I think whenever you write a show, you, your hope is, you, you, whatever you show, I mean, I've got a load of shows, but I think what, everything you write, you hope, or my hope is, that, that people are thinking about it the next day. You know, if people find themselves mulling it over and having a bit of a ponder the next day, then, then you, your work is done. So, in, but in, then, then in terms of the type of thinking they do, that's totally up to them, don't mind. But as long as it's more than just brain candy, I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah. And have you got any other shows that you do? I've got loads of shows. <laughs> yeah, so the, the two I'm touring at the moment, well, there's three I'm touring, one of them I'm just finishing it off. So there's this show. Uh, which is the, the Who Done It set on an outsider's ward. Um, I've got a show called Kevin King of Egypt, which is about a bloke who thinks he's the king of Egypt. And the show that I'm, I'm finishing off, which is touring Canada over the summer, is uh, Death, a Romantic Comedy. So these are the three <laughs> I'm doing most often at the moment. Yeah. And, and what, what are your plans for the future? What are you dreaming of next? I don't know, I just keep writing and performing, really. I'm, I'm, I've never been a very ambitious person. You know, I, I like being self-employed, I like doing shows, I like trotting around doing shows. And so, you, you're only as good as your next show. So always the, the what happens next question is you want your next show to be your best one. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank Tom. you. <laughs>